I've got to steal this one. This is Alex Belfield. You can go directly to his channel if you prefer. I, I, I don't know if you've got the memo or heard, but I, I'm not a very big fan of Stephen Nolan. He's the kind of man who chases after people in car parks to see why they're not wearing a mask, you know, and chases them and, and follows them through garage forecourts because he's the big man. And trust me, he is the big man at the BBC. If you put morbidly obese Morgan together with Gemma Collins and Adele when she was a fatty, you would equal one Stephen Nolan. He's so big, he's one of the highest paid people at the BBC. Hundreds of thousands of pounds, yet most people haven't even heard of her. The reality is, this man is a gobshite. He goes on air every day, sanctimoniously and pompously ranting and raving and telling people what he thinks, which entitles me, through the law, I've got to bend, oh, it went bendy there, did you see it? Oh, there you go, look, it's, it's not quite straight. Look, the microphone has gone all bent. Anyway, back to Stephen Nolan. The reality is, this man wants to have his opinion, so guess what, I'm going to have mine and try and keep it erectus on my microphonus. Hey, much. Here we go then for a Friday, and this is quite extraordinary. This Stephen Nolan is a piece of work. He was the consultant on my show at BBC Leeds. They flew him in to try and BBC assize me. He made me change words on my personal website. He told me not to use a silly voice. Fucking silly voice, Stephen! Have you heard your voice with your silly manipulous tone that droning on morning, noon and night, for well, yesterday he had a caller who put him right in his place. This guy wants to tell people, wear a mask, wear a mask, we're breaking the law, you're breaking the law. Could you put the walkers crisp down please and stop shoving them in your gob? And by the way, you're morbidly obese, you're a heart attack waiting to happen, and yet you're going to tell a woman to wear a mask in a public place to not catch something she's probably not going to catch. Because a mask doesn't really work, does it, Stephen? You know, there's lots of doctors who've said it doesn't fucking work because people don't wear them correctly. They end up dirty, as she tried to explain to you. But you can't get it in your thick head because you're part of the BBC propagandizing machine. You're part of the BBC supercilious type, of which there are many of you. There are quite a lot of you hiding in the closet, waiting to come out and say, put your mask on, put your mask, get double jab, get double jab. Don't get treated on the NHS if you're not triple jabbed and boosted. We've heard it all before by your lot. 22,000 supercilious sanctimonious types, paid by the public who don't understand the public. You see, Stephen, I'm a man of the people. The reason I'm the number one guy on YouTube is because I understand my public. You don't. That's why you chase them through fucking car parks. Show them that clip. Oh, it's gone bent again. Show them the clip, Tarquin, of when he chased them pulling up those fucking jeans over his big fat belly that will one day cause him to have heart disease or a heart attack because he's so unhealthy in mind, spirit, body, and on fucking air, pissing off his audience in droves. Mr. Nolan, can I give you some advice? I'd like to be your consultant. You do put the consultant, don't you? I'd like to do the same for you and give you some advice on how to increase your popularity. Switch your microphone off and stay at home. Play the clip, Tarquin. Listen to this guy. What a bunch of characters they are at the BBC telling their paying public how to behave. Jesus Christ, one day they'll wake up. Don't you worry about that. See we in court, BBC. Do you wear a mask? No, I do not, nor I never will. Why not? No, I will never wear a mask. I, I don't see why I should put a dirty filthy rag in my mouth. Why don't you have a why don't you have it clean? And keep it clean. What? You no, know, because you have to use one every day. I don't need a mask, David. You don't need a mask. But what about what about protecting the people? What about protecting the people around you? I'm protecting the people. Look, if you're gonna take the flu, you'll take it. And that will stop you from taking simple as. You know, a lot of you know people... You I mean? I'm sick of you going on and on. Oh, this is that and this is the other. Live and live. You can't live in fear all your life what you're doing to the people. So That's do you, what you're doing. You're so, making the people live in fear. So despite it being a lawful requirement for you to wear a mask... I don't mask, care what it is. I don't, don't care what it is. I won't be to, wearing a mask. A, a, Why would you, I wear a mask? If you, Why would I wear a mask? If you get on a bus or a train, it's a lawful requirement. I don't use a bus or a train, thank God. I don't, I don't use them. If you went into environments where it is the law to wear a mask, oh. would you put a mask on? No, I wouldn't. Right. No, I wouldn't. Not for you. I'd like to say, you do the same. No, you because it's about, the law. You because it's about, the law. You run about and do the same thing when it suits you. So you, know you, wouldn't put, you wouldn't abide by the I, law? I, look, 
Can, are, are you listening? Oh, I'm listening to you, okay. Yeah. Yes, but you listen good. I will not wear a mask. I don't need to wear a mask. I'm a healthy person. My immune system is great. <laughs> 